Oh, hello down there. As you know, I love Sunsama. I use it daily. And this is like a new feature they've added, which helps with time boxing. So just really quick, Sunsama is like a productivity app. It's kind of like a to-do list. It's more like weekly goal based than like long form based. So like you're not going to be planning out your month or year on Sunsama, but you're going to be having your weekly goals, which if you do a lot of planning and stuff, usually you break down bigger goals into smaller goals and they end up as a weekly goal in pieces. And then you can take those out and spread those out through tasks throughout the week. So as you all know, I've talked about it before on this channel. I have five priorities in my life, faith, family, social, work, personal, and usually in that order. So you'll find Find that a lot of how I set my Sunsama up is based on those priorities. But the cool new feature here is Sunsama have added this sort of time boxing 2.0, for instance, not for instance, they have added it. And basically it allows you to, as you're planning out your tasks for the day, it allows you to like visually, without putting anything in stone, basically, see what your day is going to look like. Now, this has always sort of been a feature. You can manually do this on your calendar, but it allows you to, to see it without setting anything in stone, which I think is fantastic. So as you can kind of see here, the first thing you need to do is make sure that Sunsama is updated. And if you haven't downloaded Sunsama, you can check the link in the description. You'll get a 30 day free trial. I think this is one of the most helpful apps that I've ever used in my life like period, I'm not just saying that because they're sponsoring this video, which they are. I use it daily, I pay for it annually. It's about 20 bucks a month to use this, but there has never been an app that sort of helps me better in terms of getting things done, visualizing how much time they're gonna take, as I mentioned before, and just, I don't know, just working through things. And even down to like this focus mode here where you can do kind of like task by task, run through and get things done. You can do a timer, you can do a Pomodoro timer up here, which is a, one of my favorite methods of getting a bunch of like busy work done. It's 25 minutes of work, five minute break, 25 minutes of work, five minute break until you do all your tasks basically. But what you have to do once you have Sunsama downloaded is you actually have to come up here and you gotta go to settings and then you've gotta come down to, where is it, beta. It took me forever to find this. I wish it was a little more apparent. I, I wish Sansama, if you're watching, I just wish that new features, like maybe a pop-up window and like a how-to. Now I know like someone could watch this video and figure out how to do this, but I just wish it was like more apparent how to do these things because they announced this new feature and they, you know, we talked about making a video about it and I couldn't figure out how to get it working. So I had to come down to beta here in settings and do check this little thing here and say, visualize task projections on calendar. Show a projection of how your unscheduled tasks fit into your calendar. There's a lot of really cool stuff here, but this is sort of what we're focusing on today because it truly does kind of feel like you have like a, a virtual assistant helping you. And this is all done, you know, with light AI. So for instance, I've mentioned it before in these videos, as you're adding things to the calendar. So if I say film new day in the life video, it will usually, here's your time here. It will sort of give you an estimated time based on how long it usually takes you to film a video. And that's about right. I usually block about 30 minutes. I was talking to another YouTuber friend and he, you know, he takes a really long time to film and he tries to get everything really good. And his videos are absolutely fantastic. Mark Gilroy, he's awesome. Go check out his channel. I'll leave a link in the description. I take only about 30 minutes to make videos as long as everything's set up beforehand well enough. Over time, Sansama has picked up on the fact that it only takes me about 30 30 minutes to film a video. So it puts that there. Now, if I need to change that, I can, or you can use keyboard shortcuts, which I've mentioned before with Sansama as well. I love the keyboard shortcuts. It allows you to do everything you need to without picking up your hands off the keyboard. Like you don't have to click the mouse, which I think in this world of like efficiency and getting things done, like when you're sitting down to do your tasks and lay them out for the day, being able to go just really fast via keyboard and keyboard shortcuts is fantastic. Anyway, let's say that takes, um, it's actually gonna take me 45 minutes. I hit enter, it adds that there. I can do hashtag, this is actually production. So that's the, the tag there. And then I'm gonna hit enter and it's actually going to put it right here on the calendar. So usually when you set things in stone, which I think you can pin to calendar. So if I say pin to calendar, it's actually going to add it to my calendar as like an event. So if I were to go back over to my calendar app, now that would be on there at 9 a.m. But you don't have to do that, unpin from calendar, and you get this like 
just visualization of what your day would look like, which I think is fantastic. And you can see it's sort of take in all my other tasks for the day, lay them out here. And as you're doing your like daily planning, it will kind of tell you like, hey, you know, you're you're kind of over. Like if I add a bunch of these back over here, let's see. So it says caution, unrealistic workload. So it understands that I have too much planned for today and I need to move some of those to tomorrow or next week. I'm gonna do create new contract, fix credit card. I can do that video later. And now you can see we're good. So I hit next and then you can see that visualization. You can be like, hey, this, this looks like a good plan. My day's pretty full, but I'm gonna go ahead and say looks good. It'll show you, you know, your, your daily plan kind of laid out if you needed to post this to Teams or Slack to share with everyone what you're doing, how long it's probably gonna take you. I love that it has like the amount of time here next to it as well. I think that's fantastic. Let me go ahead and say, get started. Then here it is. And there's my sort of week view. I This is like my favorite. This is sort of the main home screen, but being able to see, you know, as I'm completing tasks today, let's go ahead and say that I, I filmed that day in the life video. So what it will do is it will check off that I did it and actually move everything up. So, all right, great. I'm gonna come right into filming this Sansama video now that I've finished that video. And let's just go ahead and say that I've done that. And you can see everything moves up again. And you can see right here, I have a haircut at 10 and that is on the calendar. So it will move tasks around that event as well. But I think what's most important here is this does this isn't like a set like I've said this isn't written in stone it's not set in stone this is just giving you like an overview visualization of your day which I think is really helpful now you can come in here and be like this actually looks really good and I would like to hold myself to this and then you can come in here and start pinning them to the calendar and then like I said if you hop over to your actual calendar it's synced with my Google calendar it will be on my calendar which some of you all might not like that and I think that is another reason why Sun Sama can Came through here and made this visualization that's not set in stone because if you were to look at my calendar over the past however long i've been using sansama it might give you anxiety and overwhelm because every task is on the calendar it's just like a mess and i feel like some people might not want their calendar to be gunked up with tasks which i totally understand that too do more better by tim challey's great book it says that tasks shouldn't be on the calendar they should be in your tasks anyway so i like this idea because it allows you to see things without like gunking up everything, which I think is fantastic. That's kind of it. That's the new feature. I'm super excited about it. It just really does help because especially if you're working for someone and they put a lot on your plate, you can literally sh like take a screenshot of this and be like, hey, this is everything you've asked me to do today. I literally physically do not have the time of day to do everything you've asked. Or this is the projection for today. I have an extra two hours. Like, is there another project I could work on? Help you get that promotion, that raise, you know, kind of go above and beyond at work. So I think definitely if you're a creator, you know, working for yourself, this is super helpful to just keep you in check. It it's, can be so easy to get distracted if you're working for yourself or working at home to get, you know, wanting to do other things. So getting a visualization saying like, hey, if I really wanna get all this stuff done, I need to get started now. And as you go, you know, you can, as your tasks move up, you can either finish your day early. I think that's the the coolest thing about Sansama for me is it's helped me to get things done more quickly because I see this visualization as I'm doing things, I'm checking them off, my tasks are moving up. It frees up time in my day. And, you know, things that I think will take me 45 minutes, if I'm not distracted and I'm in the zone working on them, it might take me 30 minutes, it might take me 20 minutes, it might take me five minutes, you know, depending on the type of task. So it opens up time, which you can then spend resting or, you know, relaxing or maybe doing some family errands or catching up on reading, you know, whatever it might be or diving into more work. You know, if you're just really overwhelmed with work, this will free up more time, which allows you to get more work done. So anyway, special shout out to Sansama. Again, links in the description. If you'd like to check out Sansama for yourself for 30 day free trial, usually it's only a 14 day. So my trial is doubled for you all. So many people have signed up through my videos for Sansama and I'm able to see like <laughs> people sign up for the paid subscription after a month. Like people really do enjoy this thing and like this thing. And I think it does add value you to your life and I'm not just saying that again because it's sponsored like I truly I pay for this every year I love it I use it every day as you can see so thanks so much for watching if you enjoyed please subscribe on this channel we talk about tech that marries form and function we like tech that improves our lives and looks good while doing so like this video for more watch this video next I think you're gonna love it and we'll see you all in the next one